Hey, hey, everybody. So it's time for some price elasticity of demand. So again, this is the all the IB econ diagrams explained series every week. I'm going to post a video trying to explain the concept through the diagrams so that by the end of this project, um, I will have covered all the diagrams in the IB econ syllabus. So PED, fabulous. So PED is the responsiveness of quantity demanded to changes in price. The formula is percentage delta QD divided by percentage delta P, percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. So if the percentage change in quantity demanded is equal to the percentage change in price, the absolute value of PED will be one. This means that demand is unit elastic. I started with that because that's somewhere in the middle of the spectrum, okay? Now remember, Quantity demanded and price move in opposite directions. And that's why PED will always be negative. So we look at the absolute value. That's why here absolute value is one. Okay, fabulous. Now, if the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price, we say that demand is price inelastic. That means quantity demanded or demand is not very sensitive to changes in price. And the demand curve will be relatively steep. If the percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage change in price, we say that demand is price elastic and the curve will be relatively flat. It's a relatively flat demand curve, okay? Um, in this case, the absolute value of PED is greater than one when demand is price elastic. And in this case, the absolute value of PED will be less than one. These two are the most frequently encountered cases. So most in most cases, demand is either price elastic or price inelastic. And then there are two sort of extreme cases that theoretically we have to know, which is when demand is perfectly inelastic. That basically happens when quantity demanded is fixed, is unchanged. The percentage change in quantity is zero. Now remember, it's percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. So zero divided by the percentage change in price, PED will always equal zero. Here we say demand is perfectly inelastic. Quantity is fixed, okay? And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, what if price is fixed? Anything divided by zero, because the percentage change in price will be zero, anything divided by zero is infinity. PED will be equal to infinity and the curve will be horizontal. Okay, so you've got perfectly inelastic, a vertical curve, price inelastic, a relatively steep curve, unit elastic, it has to look like a rectangular hyperbola. Okay, you've got price elastic, which is a relatively uh, flat curve, and then you've got a horizontal curve, which is perfectly, I forgot to add this, perfectly elastic. And these are basically the five possible um, demand curves that you could encounter when you're talking about the different demand curves in the case of price elasticity of demand. Now, obviously, I have other videos on my channel explaining the determinants of PED, like what determines um, whether demand will be elastic, inelastic, perfectly elastic, and so on. So things like availability and closeness of substitutes, period of time, proportion of income, degree of necessity, and all of that. These are all videos that you can find on my channel, but this video is focusing on the diagrams for PED. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you subscribe and like this video, share it with all of your friends, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.